Yo, welcome to my Pokemon Journeys, episode 113, the last mission, catch Reggie, Alecki, and Drago review. So we have a rawest bloody opening to an episode as Saru and Zershifu absolutely toss up Registeel when he prepares to catch it. Go's last trial mission is here. He has a choice between two missions, which are following three sacred footprints or catching Reggie, Alecki, or Drago. Immediately, I just want to say I think the footprints are a reference to the Swords of Justice quest in the Crown Tundra, which is pretty cool since that was just a little bit extra to do in the Crown Tundra. As the title suggests, Go is going to stake on catching Reggie, Alecki, and Drago, which Ash doesn't really know about, even though he knows about the other Reggies. What I really like about this scene is that we have input from Sakuragi, mentioning some Pokemon don't have much data, but he knows they're connected to Split Decision Ruins in Crown Tundra. I don't know, just having him give his expertise is always nice, and it helps give Go a lead into working towards his goal. We also then follow up with Go telling Ash he'll go on his own, as he has his own goals and Ash has his own he needs to focus on, giving Ash more time to train for a Master's 8. So with Ash's fond wishes, we cut to the Gala region. Go gets through ruins where Gary waits outside. Their interaction is a lot more pleasant this time, and there's a little bit of banter, which was fun, as Go asks Gary if he was waiting for him, and Gary just kind of puts out his reply as a question, asking if he would actually do that. It's the first interaction after the Articuna raid, but they're not so quick to get each other over nothing. We also quickly try to figure out the ruins, like their different colours down the centre, and what sort of seal is placed on the door. As I try to figure out the text on the door, Tsurugi arrives and informs them that they need three giants of rock, ice, and steel, and Gary deduces it means for three hole and Regis, which Tsurugi sends out and unlocks the ruins. Tsurugi sends Gary and Go in and sets a two Pokemon limit on them. As they send the staircase, they talk about Go's last mission and how Gary is potentially watching that, and that transitions into Gary asking about why Go is even doing this. Why does he want to meet Mew? It's kind of interesting to think that Gary has been Go's rival for a bit, but he's only hearing about things like Go meeting Mew when he was younger. But Go is also echoing a lot of the sentiment Hadaka had. And he really as an individual wants to know more and more about Pokemon, which is just like Gary as well. Gary sees Mew as a vital step to finding out mysteries about Pokemon, and before they reach the top of the chamber, Gary is sure that Go will meet Mew again. This is just a wonderful moment, having a chance to see these two boys just have this calm before the storm moment, where they just find out about each other. It's what they really needed, and now that they're in better terms, it felt natural to do it here. They reach a chamber and work together to work out the floor patterns, but there's still some fun competition between the two as they try to one-up each other and be the first to finish each of the puzzles. But as they continue to compete here, the puzzles on each side reset, so they get nowhere. Gary suggests battling to decide who will get the Reggie, but he has a plan to get both of them. He wants to collaborate with Go and Go catches on. As they sync up, both the tiles they go to are activated at the same time. It's wonderful teamwork and really highlights how much Go has grown from his loss in the Articuno raid. He didn't keep his cool there, but in the Battle Royale he once again worked as well with Tokyo and motivated him to win at his own cost. Here he's working with someone who has wound him up before to achieve a common goal. But that's when Layla and Shunya show up and trap Go and Gary and Ice from their Frostmoth and Galarian Dermanitan, which is cool! I love seeing more Gala Pokemon have a chance to show up. They're here to get the Regis and are using unhanded tricks to win. But this is when we get reveal of a new Pokemon Gary has, Hatterene, which along with Go's Cinderace breaks them out. Go suggests to Gary that they tag team to fight off their new rivals, and Gary asks for one Pokemon each as they'll need their Pokemon to battle against the Regis. So this is when we get a pretty neat battle between Cinderace and Blastoise, Go and Gary's first Pokemon against Shunya and Layla's uh, Sandaconda and Runaragus, which I'm both incredibly excited to see in action. Cinderace is immediately targeted but saved by Blastoise, and they use good teamwork, using Blastoise to launch itself and Cinderace up to the air to avoid attacks and hit back with a Water Pulse and Blaze Kick combo. It's quick, but it's sweet. Layla doesn't want to break their promise because if Gary and Go fail the battle with the Regis, it'll be up to her and Shunya, and it'll be an easier match and easier to catch Regis for them. Go and Gary finish the puzzle and two statues are up with the new Regis. They look and sound awesome in the anime. Their cool Pokemon and having their debut here was fantastic. Go is told to take on Reggie Alecki and Gary will take on Reggie Drago. They both have counter picks out too as Go has his Flygon and Gary has his Hatterene. And in particular I love seeing Ga Gary get his Hatterene to use Dazzling Gleam as a shield. It's very reminiscent of Ash's battle with Marnie and I wonder if Gary actually watched that considering knowing that he watched other battles Ash has had like his battle with Paul at the Sinnoh League. It's some good thinking regardless, but the Regis are very quick to switch up their targets as Drago decides to go for Flygon, and Alecky goes for Hatterene to weaken them, and then they return to their original opponents to finish the job. The Regis here use teamwork to win, which is what Go and Gary need to do. They once again send out their starter Pokemon and get some hits in, a big Twister comes out and then Shunya and Layla give a 2 their support, telling them to use a Twister to dodge the same way they dodged their Pokemon. So Cinderace jumps on Blastoise who uses Rapid Spin using all the momentum they had to smash the Regis into a wall. Gary and Go both pull out their Pokeballs, and Go gets ready Lecky, and Gary gets ready Drago, which was such a fantastic moment. If these two had any differences, they finally overcome them and work together as a team to achieve a pretty insane goal. So Gary imparts some knowledge that he learned from Sarugi to the other three about working with friends and rivals, which Go remembers his experience in Mount Coronet. Gary almost got disqualified from Project Mew once, just like Go did, but he grew from that. Go questions if that's why Gary kept on goading him on, and Gary just kind of plays it off as him doing it for his own sake. I think you can really tell he wants to go to grow, and he and he truly has from the time he's been in Project Mew, becoming a much more talented trainer and really getting a lot and lot out of it. 
Arriving outside, Asahi is drawing a group, and all Reggie's are sent out together, which actually sounded like it was a surprise to Rugi. As they admire the group, the Reggie start resonating energy, and in the distance, a pillar of light erupts and a huge Regigigas emerges. It looks at the group and just vanishes into thin air. It's really hard to say what it was. It doesn't feel like Regigigas was actually there dynamaxed. It felt more like a legit projection to me. It doesn't make me wonder if Regigigas will be guarding Table Mountain, which is why Reggie's were needed. I'm still kind of unsure why they're valuable to Project New. As soon as Regigigas disappears, Hadaka calls the challenges and is ready to reveal the chases of Project New. Of course, Gary has made it with 15 tokens. Tokyo made it into second with 11. So he completed his mission, which is so wonderful to see. And lastly, we don't actually find out from Hadaka. As he's ready to announce it, we cut to Ash at the Sakuragi lab after the long day of training his team. Go's calling him, and he's quickly so excited to reveal to Ash that he's the last chaser. I really liked how this reveal was done. There isn't really much time to revel in a, oh, has Go passed the knot? But it's just more making Ash a surrogate for the audience, and having Go being the one to excitedly reveal to us that he's successfully done it. It's so satisfying. He's worked very hard to get where he's gotten, so having him tell us that, it's just so good. Gary quickly tells Go that this is just the starting line and we'll both have to do their best from here on. And this is where the episode ends. I think as a last mission, it's nailed it completely. What a fantastic episode. From the start of Go's journey in Project New, Gary's always been the one bit that Go has struggled with. Gary knew how to press his buttons just right, and that was Gary wanting to prompt Go to become his best self. As Gary mentions to Go, Sarugi taught him that accepting a weak friend will just hold you back. But if your rival isn't competing with someone, you can work with them if you have aligning goals. Gary's been trying to bring Go's best self out of him since they met. So immediately as Go decided to join Project New, he decided he couldn't lose to Gary. They are at a point where they worked together and pulled through as a team to succeed. It's just been wonderful seeing Go's growth, and now that's all culminated here in a mission that brought it all together. Teamwork has been his Achilles heel, but he's gotten better at that. The Articuna raid being his biggest failing, a battle royale easing him into it, and this has really become the ultimate test as they go up against another effective team with Layla and Shunya, but then a team of legendary Pokemon as well, which is quite a unique circumstance. It's not as if he was only following Gary's lead as well, they are both making contributions and even listening to advice from other people not specifically on their team. Splitting Go from Ash again was framed incredibly well here. I'd imagine part of Go's reasoning is his loss last time when he was separated from Ash. If you can't win without Ash, is he really worthy of joining Project New? It gives them both a chance to pursue their dreams as it gives Ash more time to prepare, while Go proves to himself what he can do and that he really can work with other people. I do kind of wish that Layla and Shunya were introduced a lot earlier so he could really feel more impact from inclusion, but seeing them come out to really support Go and Gary's battle in the end was a really nice conclusion to their story. All this time they've been sneaking underhanded, so I'd imagine really seeing the two giving their best motivated them to give them advice in the battle with the Reggies. And to just take a quick moment to gush about some things in general, Sarugi is such a badass dude, he's so based. Starting the episode with him just completely bodying Registeel and catching it made the long wait for any of our Project New characters to encounter Registeel was worth it. It's also kind of funny because this battle was a lot longer than the one with Regice was. Urshifu looks damaged and has to use more attacks than just Wicked Blow this time. And then seeing Surugi throw out the three Regis at knowing his Urshifu too, this guy just has four legendary Pokemon on him. What a goat. But it does upset me a little bit that Asahi might only have one legendary with her Urshifu. I also love seeing Gala Pokemon get more love this episode. Every trainer that battles in this episode uses one, with Gary, Shunya, and Layla giving the anime debuts to quite a few of them. And it's just amazing to see such wonderful additions to Regis get a chance to show up and be vital to Go's goal. But we have Go reaching the climax of his goal now, with Ash dying just ahead. It's pretty crazy to think that Journeys is getting to an end, but we still have two high points left to reach. And hey, this episode even left some mystery into what's up with Regigigas. I'm sure we'll see it play into a Project New Expedition, but it could be many things. I keep on saying Project New's been my favourite part of Pokemon Journeys, and they set every mark for me. I hope you enjoyed this episode as well, and see you next time.